What is going on guys, it is Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to edit gameplay in the Share Factory Studio application on your PlayStation 5 console. So in case you didn't know what the Share Factory Studio is, it is basically a free editing software that comes with the PlayStation 5 console. In my opinion, it is the best free editing software you can get outside of PC. In fact, it's actually better than most free PC editing softwares. So if you're looking to get started with a gaming channel or you just want to edit your gameplay clips so they look a lot better, this is the best application to use. So to actually get the Share Factory Studio, we need to install it in the PlayStation Store. So go over to the Store application, then go up and just search Share, and it should be the first option listed here in the store. There it is right there. I'm going to select it. I already have it installed, so I don't have to do anything. But if you don't have it installed yet, just select the install option and it should only take a few seconds and you'll be good to go. So I'm going to press play. And here I am in the main menu of the Share Factory Studio application. So up top, we have four tabs. We have the video editor, the photo editor, the toolbox and the store. So starting on the store tab here, this is basically something that will be fleshed out in future versions of the Share Factory Studio, but right now it's just a coming soon page. The next tab is the toolbox. This allows us to import videos, music, and images from a USB drive. So if you want to edit actual like real life camera footage or footage that you recorded on your PC or somewhere else, you can import it over to your PS5 and edit it on the Share Factory Studio application. We can do that also with images and music. So if we want our own music, then we can import that as well. Although the Share Factory Studio does actually have some good music on here. So moving on, we have the photo editor tab. This is just a simple uh, screenshot editing tool that we can use. Uh, they have the example here of making memes. If we want to do that on our PS5, this is the place to do it right here. And then the last and most important tab here in the Share Factory Studio is the video editor. So in here we have four different options. We can create a new project. We can view our previous projects. We can view our most recent project and we can view our gallery of all of our amazing Share Factory creations. So I'm going to create a new project using the footage I used in my last tutorial, which was how to record gameplay on your PlayStation 5 console. So if you actually want to record gameplay to edit, then be sure to watch that tutorial. It'll be linked down below. So I'm going to select new project. And in here, it wants us to select a creator pack. So basically a theme for our project. We don't have to do this. We can just select no creator pack. But just to show you how these work, I will select the breaking news creator pack. Eventually, like I said, you will be able to buy more of these in the store and certain games that you buy will come with creator packs that will appear here in the Share Factory Studio. So for now, I'm just going to select breaking news and each creator pack comes with its own clips and footage that you can add into your project. So breaking news has like a news intro and an outro and a transition effect here and stuff. So I only need the intro and outro. So I'm going to deselect all of these other clips here. And then below all of the creator pack clips, we have our actual gameplay footage. So I only have a few clips down here at the bottom because I've only had my PS5 for a few months and I haven't recorded that much footage but if you have a large library of gameplay footage you will see all of that here at the bottom of the screen here so I'm going to select the clips I recorded in that tutorial so just these two should do now keep in mind when you're selecting clips you can only select a maximum of 50 and they have to be under an hour and 20 minutes so you can't edit a five hour epic on the share factory application you have to keep it down below that 80 minute mark so once we have all of our clips selected we can press square to start a new project we can name it whatever we want breaking news is just fine for me and now we are in the share factory studio main workspace here so we have our timeline there at the bottom we have our preview in the middle and we have all of our options at the bottom of the screen now keep in mind in this tutorial i'm not going to be able to mention every single little feature and button function and everything like that i'm going to go over the most common and most used functions that you will have in this application but if you want to know how to rotate a sticker counterclockwise while a flipping animation plays you're either going to have to figure that out for yourself or look it up online because I can't go over every single possible effect that you can do in this application. It's just that huge and it's that filled with amazing stuff. So right away, you're going to want to know how to navigate through this timeline here. And there are three different ways you can do it. You can either use the right stick to go back and forth. You can use the touchpad to sort of fly through the timeline here, or you can use the left and right D-pad buttons to go frame by frame for more minute detail. We can also just play the footage by pressing the R2 button, and we can see the footage at its normal speed 
just like the PlayStation intended it to be. So by default, PlayStation set the news intro at the beginning and the news outro at the end, and my two gameplay clips right here in the middle. If you have a few transitions or other gameplay clips, it might arrange them differently, but for the most part, it will look something like this. So I want to edit my footage so it is a little bit shorter. Two minutes and 53 seconds isn't that long, but for the tutorial, I want to keep it short, so I'm going to cut each of these clips in half. So to trim our footage, we can press the square button, and in here it gives us all of our different trimming and clipping options for our footage. So I'm just going to select split clip, and this opens up a nice little quick menu where we have a few different options. So we can press X to split the clip, we can press square to delete the clip, and we can press L2 to go to the beginning of the clip. So I only want about half of this footage to be used, so I'm going to trim it right here. So I'm going to split, confirm, and I'm going to delete this by pressing square and then confirming. So now it's just a little bit shorter here, and I'm going to do the same to this clip right here. So I'm going to use the touch bar to clip it right about here. This looks good. Confirm the split, and I'm going to delete this footage, and now that looks just a little bit better. So it's only about a minute and 40 seconds now. So that looks good for now for me, so I'm going to back out of here. Now there are more options in the clip editing menu here, so if we press square we have all of these different options. We can change the direction of our footage, so if we want to play it in reverse, or if we want to have it go reverse and then forward, we can do that. With these options, uh, we can change the rate in which the clip is played, so it can be super fast, super slow. We can edit the overlays, the text effects, and the camera overlays and stuff. We can pan and zoom, so if we want to we can zoom in on a part and we can pan in. So we can do that if I want more of the car in the frame. I'll do that for this first clip, confirm that. So now this is all just focused on my car. We can also change the volume of the clip. So if it's a little bit too quiet, we can make it louder. Or if it's too loud, we can make it quieter. Split clip, we just checked that out. We can trim the clip. So if we don't want to split and then delete, we can actually change the beginning and end of a clip right here in the trim tool. We can also trim out uh, different sections of the middle here as well. We can move the clip, so if I want this clip at the end of my project, I can use the L and R1 buttons to move it to the back. And then lastly here, I can copy the clip with the clone clip option, and I can just delete the clip entirely with the delete clip option. So this clip looks just fine to me, zoomed in like that. And this first one is also just fine right here at the beginning. So now I want to add in some transitions to make this a little bit more seamless from the breaking news to the gameplay. So I'm going to press the X button on my controller. And in here we have the options to add in different effects and music and to change filters and stuff. So I'm going to select the add transition option. And each creator pack comes with its own transition so I can have different news flashes pop in. But I just kind of want an explosion because that looks cool. So I'm going to select this option right here. And now I have an explosion right here in my clip, and it transitions to my next piece of footage. Now, I accidentally added another explosion transition here between these two clips, so if you want to edit transitions or effects in any way, just press the square button, and you can go down here and edit the transition. Or if you want to edit an overlay, you can select that option. So here, I don't want that anymore, so I'm going to replace it, actually, with a breaking news transition here. So now, between the two clips, it looks like there is a breaking news story that we need to watch, uh, which is actually just the car, but zoomed in. So I can add in more effects by pressing the X button once again here. I can add in a lot more stuff. So I can add in more tracks if I want. So if I have footage I want to add in, I can do that with the track option. I can add in music. So if I want some music to play, I can do that by pressing this. I can preview the music by pressing R2 and I can sort these by genre. So I just want some nice disco music to play while my car is running from the police. So I'm going to select this one. We can move and edit the music in a similar way to the footage. So just press square and we have the option to trim, move, delete, fade in, fade out, all that stuff for the music. So everything in here is basically the same as with the footage. So I wanna move my music forward a little bit. So I'm going to select move music and I'm going to move it forward with the right control stick right there. Looks good. So now we have some nice disco music playing while I am driving like an absolute maniac in my sports car. So why stop there with music? Let's add in some more stuff. Let's make this even more trippy. So let's go and let's back out of the music editing option and let's add in some more effects here. So I'm going to add in a filter. I'm going to make it uh, polarized. So we have that look going on. Looks pretty cool. Let's add in some more effects. So I want to add in an overlay. So so we have a lot of different overlays. We have stickers we can add in. I want my follower count to keep going up. So I'm going to add that on right there. Make it bigger. 
if I can. We can change the duration. We can have a max of 10 seconds and a minimum of about one second. So I want the maximum amount of time for my followers to see that button. So I'm going to press confirm. I can make it bigger using the R1 button. So it takes up the whole screen. I can even add in animations for this sticker so I can have it fly in. I can uh, have it uh, do different things while it's actually sitting there. And then I can have it fly out if I want to. So that looks pretty cool. I'm just going to leave that as is. That's the type of content I want to see on YouTube personally. So I'm just going to leave that there. Let's add in more effects. We can add in text so we can choose our font or our text size. So let's do this. Let's uh, have it say something really cringy like epic. There we go. We can change the duration again. We can have a max of about six seconds for the text to appear on the screen. Confirm that. We can change the color of the text. We can change the size of the text if we want to. We can confirm that. We can add in more animations so we can have it, uh, we can have a random in. We can have it uh, do uh, the rainbow thing. We do it a little bouncy. That looks cool. We can have it uh, fade out, so that looks pretty cool. Everyone knows that we are an epic gamer. And we can add in even more effects if we want to, so we can press X again. We can add in some camera effects, so we can have it uh, shaking for a set duration here. Confirm that. We can uh, add in sound effects, so we can have uh, all kinds of different stuff. We can have an air horn, we can have uh, screaming, or uh, cha-chings, or... Uh, Fighting and stuff. Let's do the crowd cheering because this is amazing and this is applause worthy in my opinion. And there's a lot more stuff we can do. We can add in even more effects if we want, but this is already starting to give me a seizure. So I'm going to just leave this as is and you can use your own imagination to make even more crazy stuff with all of these different effects. All of them function basically the same way. We can make them bigger, smaller, we can add in sound effects, we can add in stickers, and we can do stuff like this, which is inspiring. So I think this looks good, so I'm going to save all these changes and back out of the effects menu by pressing circle. And there we go. I think this is a very well edited piece of gameplay footage. Now a few little things I want to go over before I end the video. First, there is no undo button. Once again, I don't know why PlayStation was not able to add that between the first version of Share Factory and the PlayStation 5 version of Share Factory. So I don't know, I don't know why we don't have that ability, but uh, we don't here. So make sure you like what you're doing because there's no way to undo it except by actually editing each individual effect and deleting it. So that is unfortunate. We can change how we view the timeline with the up and down d-pad button or with r3 or l3 we can do that we can view different tracks we can zoom in stuff like that and then if we want to view our masterpiece in full screen we can press l2 and we can press r2 and play it and watch it in that beautiful 4k full screen the way this piece was meant to be viewed so once we're done editing our masterpiece we can then save it so we can press triangle and it will give us the option to render this footage. So depending on how long it is, it will take a minute or two. Uh, mine is super short, so it'll only take about a minute to render the complete thing. But if you're rendering an hour long piece of gameplay footage, it will take about an hour for that to actually render. So keep that in mind. Also, this is going directly to your PlayStation 5's internal storage. So if you're running out of storage, keep that in mind because it will take up a lot of space on there. All right, so once our video has been rendered, we can upload it directly to these multiple social media platforms. So we we can share it to YouTube or Twitter or to a party if we want. So a lot of different ways to get this masterpiece out to the world and expose it to as many people as possible. Just keep in mind you have to link your social media accounts before you upload your project. So yeah, now that it's rendered, if we just want to view it on our PlayStation 5, we can go to the home menu. Now if we want to view our masterpiece right here on the PlayStation 5, we can go back to the Share Factory home menu here and we can go to the gallery and we can select the project that we just rendered here. All right, so that about does it for this tutorial. Obviously, I was not able to get to everything in this video, so if you have questions about specific effects or specific settings in the Share Factory application, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Other than that, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like down below, and if you really like my content, be sure to subscribe. And as always, I've been Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide, and be sure to have a wonderful rest of your day.